Hello folks, it's Ron back from Ron Brown's YouTube channel where we just, you know, discuss a lot of uh, drones and cameras and other uh, related electronic gear. But today uh, it is a uh, kind of a camera video today. from It's from a familiar uh, company we talk about, DJI, which, you know, mostly we talk about their drone products, but uh, they also make other great uh, products such as, uh, you know, small cameras, uh, action cameras, uh, wireless mics, uh, pocket cameras, but today we are talking about their series of action cameras called the Action, a uh, uh, good name, huh? Uh, just yesterday, our, our friend Igor uh, uh, leaked, uh, Igor, who's been leaking all the uh, all the good juicy Air 3 information uh, most of the summer, has uh, dropped another bomb yesterday. The Action 4 is, uh, looks like it's uh, about ready to come out. Um, I don't have any release dates or anything. Um, Using these action cameras usually come in, in September, basically on, on GoPros, uh, uh, long, you know, long schedule releasing things in, in September. So uh, it seems like DJI's jumped on that bandwagon, but I have no information when when this thing's coming out. Could come out before, could come out after, could come out tomorrow. I, I don't I don't know. So, but let's get right into the action four. Um, DJI uh, they they re first released an action one like like. Three, four years ago already it seems and then they took quite a, a it almost took them two years to come out with their second action the action 2 which uh was a module camera the first action kind of looked just like a gopro just looked like a little box or whatever uh but the second one was a module which you could take the top parts uh, apart it had magnets it had screens it was kind of a you know complicated device really but um you it seemed to have its uh, you know use case scenario as a kind of a POV camera. You could like mount it like on on a, on the chest and different you know different uh, uh, mounting options on, on smaller devices and things like that. So it kind of opened up a whole nother way of uh, filming, you know, uh, discreetly uh, uh, filming POV type filming, uh, smaller form factor filming. But then uh, just like a year later, they uh, released uh, a year later being the. Um, fall of 2022 they released uh the action uh, three which went back to the uh looked almost like the action one again kind of a module i mean a boxy type camera that looked like the uh you know the gopro series of cameras so okay that brings us to uh today which is uh today is i never know the date here is the uh july 20th thursday july 20th and yesterday the 19th kind of all this stuff broke uh, at least here in the U.S. Uh, I'm going to look over to my uh, other screen. Got the information over here, so that's why I'm going to be looking over that direction, you know, a couple times uh, in this video here. And this is a, a live, not live video. Uh, I'm, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not going live, but I'm not editing this video whatsoever. So if I misspeak or call for whatever, it's not getting cut out. So, okay, uh, you know, we're going to go over some of the specs of the action for here really quick. The sensor is a one over one third uh, uh, inch sensor. Why is that familiar? That's like the same sensor size that's on the um, the new Air 3, supposedly, according to leaks. And this uh, same sensor size is on the um, A3 Pro also, and many other devices. So popular, popular sensor size is not a one inch sensor, a little bit smaller than one inch. And this, for the Action 4, this is a jump up from the one, a one over one seventh for the um, Action 3, which this is bigger. I think it's about uh, uh, you know, 0.0% uh, percent bigger, you know, by that's what somebody mathematical genius told me. But um, so again, this is a bigger sensor than on the previous model. The field of view is 155, which is the same thing as the Action 3. The lens aperture opening, uh, it's an f2.8, which is the same as the Action 3. Uh, it takes 4K 60 video, uh, same as the Action 3, and it can go up to. 4K and 120p in slow motion, same as the Action 3. Now, a lot of this stuff all depends on whether you're in 4x3 or, or, or 16x9 or whatever, but that, that's too deep of a conversation for this video. Okay, supports a 10-bit video, which the Action 3 did after a firmware update. A couple months after it was released, it, it added 10-bit. did not have it out of the gate, but it did add it. And this has a D-Log M if you want to uh, do a, um, you know, uh, film in a um, kind of a, uh, what's the word, like kind of a raw or, um, you know, kind of a lossless um, 
colored format. I, I, I can't come up with the right word here, but you have a flat color profile. There you go. If you want to film in fat, flat color profile, you have D-Log M here, which incidentally just got added to the Mavic 3 series recently, and supposedly will be on the Air 3 series. And uh, and I think before, this did the Cinelike. So this uh, D-Log M is kind of a step above the Cinelike, uh, you know, depending on your view on things. It's uh, the Cinelike's a real easy color profile to work with. This will be a little bit a little bit tougher, but uh, again, all opinion based. Some people probably think D Log M is the you know easiest color profile to work in the world. So uh, so be it. Okay, it's waterproof down to eighteen meters, and the previous model was sixteen meters. So you get two meters more. The weight is one hundred and forty five. I'm not sure how that compares to the previous model. Whether this is heavier, lighter, the same. So that's kind of the you know the headlights things. There no no. Uh, no real, you know, show breakers there or whatever. Nothing to really, uh, you know, go too crazy. Ever I mean, bigger sensors always better. Leave them, you know, gathering more information coming into the, um, you know, the camera. So that's that's all good. Uh, now the bad news is um, it looks like we do a price jump here from uh, the previous Action Three was started at three twenty nine. This drone, this Action Camera started at three ninety nine. And if you buy the uh, Adventure Action 4 Adventure Combo, $4.99, I think the other Adventure Combo was, again, like $4.29, somewhere like that. So we, we're getting a, about a $70 price bump here uh, to gain, a, you know, a, a little bit bigger sensor size and, a, like, you know, a um, couple of the small changes. So um, if you already own Action 3, I don't know whether this sounds like it's... Uh, you know, uh, worth jump on the upgrade unless you always have to have the latest device. But I'm sure if you're coming from a, maybe the Action One or an older Action camera in general, maybe an older GoPro, uh, this may be a, uh, you know, something to jump on. Uh, again, we don't have any, outside these leaks, we don't have any, you know, and, and there's, a, there's a picture of it also, which the picture looks almost just like the previous Action three so uh not a whole lot to show you pictures so uh yeah we'll just sit back here and kind of a, wait for the shoe to drop around here um again we, um, i don't know the release date uh again all, everything i just told you is uh, leaked rumors uh rumors uh, leaks uh nothing that this is confirmed by dji or anybody else everything i'm saying here could turn out to be false when it, com it comes out but remember you know igor has been pretty uh, uh you know uh you know, uh, spot on, uh, as Bill, Bill the Drone Review would say on a lot of his information. So we'll see how spot on he was about the um, uh, Air 3 come uh, Tuesday the 25th when uh, it, it officially uh, becomes a product and we get the official specs and so on. But um, yeah, who knows? Maybe this could come out the same day as uh, the Air 3. Maybe they'll uh, give us a two for one uh, thing because they did call that double up on the promotion. Maybe the people think the double up means a two two lenses on the air too maybe it means two products so who knows i'm again i'm i'm throwing all this in here i nobody else is saying this um yeah I, my guess is it comes out in uh, september uh last year they released the action three i think on the same day the hero 11 came came out so i suspect that'll be kind of the same thing this year they'll probably come out either the same day same week or whatever and uh that, that, that's just my guess so based on no no information that i have so again just a kind of a quick and dirty look first uh Kind of look here at the uh, action uh, for you know again if you're in the market for an action camera you haven't purchased an action camera in a while this may be one to consider if you're a current owner of an action three or maybe a hero uh, 11 uh, this probably isn't going to be you know much of an upgrade from from what you're using now so okay folks uh don't forget thumbs up if you got anything out of this video subscribe to the channel if you've stumbled over here and you've never been here before uh and ring that bell so you'll know when I put up more videos on drones and action camera and DJI gear and uh, anything else related to, you know, these products. So, um, yeah, and uh, there's a um, the thanks button, the thing where you can, you know, throw a couple dollars over here and help the channel grow over here, get more products into review. And I'll also put a link down uh, to buy me a cup of coffee. So a couple different ways you could help the channel out. And, uh, you know, folks, we will see you in the next one. Cut.